What's up Unfleek fans? Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can tell from the looks of my hair, I will be doing a hair video today. Okay guys, so a lot of you probably have never seen my natural hair before. Well, here it is guys. This is my natural 4C hair and I love my hair, okay? So for those of you who don't know, I love my hair. And the reason why I wear a lot of um, protective hairstyles, like wigs and stuff like that, braids, is just so I can protect my natural hair. So it will, you know, not break too much and it will just stay healthy and it will grow and all these things. Yes, so, um, no, I just decided to film it because I will not only be washing it today, but I will be adding some color to it all right guys so yeah so if you want to see what the end result is gonna look like you better stay tuned and also don't forget to like share and subscribe you guys smash that subscription button below so you don't miss when i post my next video all right so stay tuned and i'll be right with you Okay, so guys, these are the stuff that I'm going to be using, all right? And I excuse me for having the stuff in the sink. I just don't have enough space in the bathroom, in this bathroom, actually. But So guys, so these are what I'm going to be using. It's my um, BW2. Um, I got this in extra strength just so it will work faster. So this is like a powder lightener, but in Jamaica, we call this um, basic white. So you can basically um, buy this um, retail in Jamaica. That's how we usually do it. We buy it retail. So it wouldn't come in a pack like this. We would just buy it in, you know, little bags. And then, so this is basically the same thing. It's a lightening powder, but it's actually basic white. Or you could substitute basic white for this if you can't get your hands on this stuff all right so this is my basic white basically and i am also using have some fall papers that i'm going to be using right and then i have a little mixing bowl right there then i have my hydrogen peroxide solution i have a scissors and i have a white tooth comb okay guys so that that's all the stuff that I'm going to need to actually color my hair. All right. So the first step is that I'm going to be mixing the stuff together. All right. Okay, guys. So here's what we're going to be doing. First thing. I already have an open pack of the um, lightning powder. So I'm going to use this. Put it in my bowl. Okay, and then I'm gonna get the next one. Guys, I think I'm gonna only gonna use. Let me see. Hmm. I'm only using half of this. All right, guys. So we have our powder, and it's basically a pack, a pack with a little bit more. All right, guys. So this is our powder, our lightning powder, or basic white. And now I'm just going to add some hydrogen peroxide to it. And guys, you don't want to add too much at the same time, okay? Just want to go in with a little bit and then gradually keep adding 
until you get a really um, creamy consistency. Let's add a little bit more. All right, guys, so I just paused to get my gloves and the mixture is ready. And as you can see, the consistency of the mixture if I pick it up on the stick like this, then it's gonna take a while to start dripping, all right? So that's the consistency that you wanna go for. You don't want it to be too runny or too liquidy, just creamy enough to um, for you to be able to apply it to your hair without it running, all right? Okay, okay guys, so before I apply the um, the product to my hair, I'm just gonna use this white tea comb to detangle it first, all right? So guys, I just, as you can see, I just took um, the comb section, the first part, and I'm going to be dying. Guys, look at my hair. Ooh, so long. Guys, my hair is growing so fast. All right, look at that. Look at that. Can you see it? It is long. All right, guys, I'm going to do another video showing you how i achieved the length of my hair you guys my hair was this short and over time i've been sticking to this um routine and it has you know it has been growing my hair dramatically drastically all right so i'm gonna be sharing that secret with you guys in another video okay but for this video let's get let's just continue with this video all right so i section my hair like this all right and then I'm grabbing my brush and I'm just reaching into the product right here. Grab this foil paper and grab a bigger one. Alright guys, so I grab the foil paper, place it on top of my hair like so. Alright holding it with my finger then guys I go in pick up the product and as you guys can see the product is not running it's not dripping at all so you want to make sure you, this is the consistency of your product that it's not dripping or running down to cause a mess all right so I have the product here now after a while it's gonna start dripping of course but you're not gonna be holding it this long all right so now I'm gonna apply the product to my hair on the foil paper. Like I said, guys, I'm only doing the ends, all right? Let me come a little closer so you can see. All right, guys, so now that I have the products, excuse me, I have the product on the foil paper in my hair. It is totally covered with the products. So now what I'm going to do is just fold the foil paper. And then fold the ends. Just like that all right so that is the first one now let's go back in do another one and 
guys, if it's much easier, you can also just go in, brush it on the ends like this. All right? That's another way you can do it. Just brush it on like that. Then grab your foil paper. Fold both ends. And then you fold it either up or underneath, doesn't matter. Alright, so that's number two. And I might stick to doing it that way so I get it done even faster. Alright. Okay, and guys, this is the first side, and I have successfully gotten all the ends on this side. I am going to do the other side off camera, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, guys, so I am done adding the color to my you know, not the color, but the um, the mixture of the basic white, or should I say the um, lightning powder or basic white, and the hydrogen peroxide. So um, I am done adding it to my ends. And guys, look at look how long my the front of my hair is compared to the back. It's like getting in my eyes and everything. I feel like a Rapunzel. All right, guys, so I am going to leave this on for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on what it looks like after 45 minutes. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and I took the fall paper off my ends, and this is the result. Okay, guys, so I am done washing the um the bleach out of my hair. Okay, so now I'm about to apply my hair color. Alright, um this is a semi-permanent hair color and let me see the name of it. Oh. So the name of it is Midnight Magenta. So before I apply the hair color, I'm gonna be um, putting some grease around my hairline so the um, color doesn't you know, stay in my skin. So go ahead and do that. and i'm ready to apply this but guys i don't want to mess up this shirt so i'm going to take this off
and yes i still i'm still wearing clothes mm. okay so now getting the dye you know, and shake it up all right now I'm trying to open it pretty all right guys so i have it here and i'm just gonna be sectioning my hair because like i said i'm not trying to get it all over my hair all right so i'm gonna do it in sections so sections are here yeah. oh my God. all right and then i'm just gonna be applying it directly to the hair okay guys i'm done washing it out and now it's time for me to shampoo my hair all right so shampoo that i'm using is the contour um natural hair shampoo and guys if you are looking for a line of hair products to use on natural hair i i definitely recommend the contour um there's another one that i use i forgot the name of that one and i don't have it right here i have it downstairs so i'll tell you about the other one in a next video but um definitely you can try the contour stuff contour products are really good on natural hair all right so guys i'm just shampooing my hair now and i just grab that amount all right there you go okay so i'm done shampooing my hair and guys and now i'm gonna use my conditioner okay hi guys so i'm using the contour um conditioning hair lotion I'm gonna get me a wide tooth comb and section my hair. It's kind of knotted in some areas, so you don't want to pull it too much. Alright, so I'm just gonna section it and comb it out. Okay, guys. So, um, during the break, I took a shower because y'all know that once you wash your hair, you just have to take that shower. The next thing that I use in my hair is um, the Contour Grow Strong um, 
treatment it's a conditioning leave-in treatment so once i put this in my hair it was also just stay in my hair all right this is also for healthy hair for your hair to grow you know build castor oil jamaican black castor oil i mean if you can get the good stuff you know the ones that they the homemade ones those are the best ones to use but i cannot get a hold of the homemade castor oil so i um you know i have to use the one in the bottle you know the ones from the store so yeah it's a castor oil and it's very good it does not smell good at all mm. but guess what it is very good for your hair it strengthens your hair it um it gives your hair body yeah it makes your hair really thick and gives it body so if your hair is thin or is falling out or you have patches or stuff like that you don't have edges guys just um get yourself some castor oil and it will work magic for you all right so i use this to just grease my scalp all right so i just put some in my hand rub it up section my hair and then i just go in with it And this will just give my hair body, you know, and let my hair thick. This is better. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm just going to apply my gel. And I'm doing this in sections, all right? So, I'm just grabbing a little piece. And I'm going to run the gel through it, all right? So I'm starting from the end and I'm working the product up into the hair. I still want to burn the so no, 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 Okay, guys, so this is my simple color wash and go all right color wash and go okay guys, okay, guys.